Kevin Troy. Troy, yeah, Hagen Troy. Very good. See ya. Yeah. Um, the performance of the internationals pretty good. I think you'd expect you'd have to say. Well, we just have a glance at Daniel Flynn, the third third quickest overall. We've assembled the best footballers and prospects in the whole of the nation. Thrown in five internationals, and he comes up as the third quickest. Um, and then by the next day, well, a little bit later with the agility, all on the one day, so it didn't take any more than probably an hour and a half to see these fairly elite. It's the second in, the, in our agility run. But then it was the kicking the next day, where right and left, he looked as natural as any of the Australian boys. And, and Port just, Adelaide jumped on him pretty quickly. They jumped in very quick. In fact, that, all clubs had the chance to look at him last week when he was here with our academy, and they actually upped the ante and took him to Adelaide on Monday. And some um, clubs had a chance to have a look at him in Europe as well when he was there? They were all, yeah, clubs yep. were there. So yep. everyone's been given the chance. And uh, we were very open in saying, well, first mover advantage. And good luck to Port. They moved quickly. He was very satisfied with what he saw when he was over at Port Adelaide. Met many of their players and their coaches. And they couldn't believe what they saw on the track from what they tell me now. With the, he shouldn't be able to do that after only picking up a share in a number of months ago. He was given a share in by Ty Canelli back in April. And he's kicked to the death, as he said kicked it to death and become quite proficient right and left and um, that separated him as well as elite athletic ability. Yeah, and the big Americans? Yeah, well big Jason Holmes, well, second to Nick Knapp, well what better rap can you can you get, a 203 centimetre boy, so he's just a fraction taller even than Nick Knapp. Again, only started playing the game um, from April onwards, or learning the game, has hardly played it, but had three weeks under Paul Roos with the Swans Academy, that's after trying out an international combine in Los Angeles, that was in April and that three weeks with Sydney. And now two weeks down here with us again and uh, signed by the Saints. A terrific young man too. We've got to know him over that period and uh, he'll certainly give it his best shot to convert to our game. Um, his uh, father was a, a guy that aspired to play NBA. He didn't quite make it there, then travelled to Europe to play basketball. And so Jason's lived in nine, in different, country, uh, nine different countries over, over his um, uh, development years, so he's, he's been around a little bit and uh, I've got no doubt from what we saw here that, um, that uh, he can have an impact uh, in the years to come in the AFL. So him and of course Patrick who was signed by the Swans earlier on. Yeah, who... Patrick Mitchell and then Mark Sisko, I hope Mark gets an opportunity, um, the clubs are looking very closely at him, he's a, he's a bigger guy again at 207, um, he, again an outstanding professional young man, the way he is the youngest of the group at 22. He presented himself really well for a big, strong, uh, potential ruckman. Uh, he, he was very impressive right throughout the week. And great validation of the US Combine and what we might see in future. Yeah, and with Eric Wallace now, we've got three guys on list from the USA in a short period of time, virtually in less than a year. So it's a great start for us. And uh, who knows, we'll get another Mike Pike or a Jimmy Stein story, a Ty Canelli story. Uh, very, very healthy for the game to have other other countries with um, athletes that are willing to, uh, well, to pack everything up and come to come down under and try and uh, make their mark in our code. And young Jack and I, Penny from PNG. Uh, yes, uh, uh, JJ Penny uh, was terrific again. What a lovely young man! The way again he uh, he mixed with the group, the, the way he shared his own story and his own. Uh, dreams of playing at the high level of the kids that he worked out with was uh, very impressive so lovely to have him here. Kurt Heatherley was here as well from New Zealand uh, Kurt has already now signed with Hawthorne will go onto their rookie list uh, along with a guy called Shem Tatupu that uh, will come onto the rookie list for Hawthorne so they've been probably more proactive than others in looking internationally for, for prospects and, and they've got two potential key position players with those two boys in Kurt and Shem Very good, thanks All very right. much Kevin Okay, no problem. Cheers, great job yeah.